a little bit so um i mentioned the other day that there's a group of people out there that are hell bent on making sure that they cancel virgil for reasons i have no idea about i'm not sure what he's done wrong um for the most part to these people that they feel as if like this is the appropriate response but again i just think we live in an era and time when people just a bit confused they don't, they don't know what the best thing is to do they're looking for a way in and sometimes they feel as if people that have a platform owe them uh have a responsibility to them to do things the way that they want them to be done. I don't agree with it. I think it's backwards thinking. I think it's uh, famine thinking. I think it's thinking for people that aren't doers. When you're not a practitioner, when you're just a commentator from the sidelines, yapping, yapping away, you're going to feel as if like the people doing the stuff owe you some kind of... Um, um, what do they? What's that thing that they're doing now in, in America where they're trying to make... trying to, um, They're trying to go... They're, they're trying to account for all the years of slavery and give people money. Reparations, right? Reparations? Yeah, in some way, shape, shape or form, something like that. Like they, they feel as if there's like a charity that you, you have to kind of automatically sign up to. That's probably why some celebrities aren't really forthright about the charities that they don't support, right? They just support the ones they do or they just keep quiet. Because I guess people sometimes have this weird thinking in their head that because you're somebody of no, you kind of have to give back. What if Baffy don't? What about if you have no feeling towards it? What about if you just don't want to do it? Can you not do that? Is that possible? Yeah, because it's your thing you built yourself. I think, you know, None of these things happen by chance. You don't suddenly become the number one designer in a culture where designers are too, you know, to a penny. The designers are around every, on every fucking street corner in every city of the world making something, right, that no one's probably buying. Yet, you know, the industry or the brands or us as a scene decide to adorn Virgil as the kind of spokesperson for the scene. It's not a coincidence. It's, no, it's not by luck or chance, right? There's loads of work that's been put into that. But some people see that and just think, oh, you owe me this. You have to put this there. You have to do things like that. And it's like, come on, dude. That's not how things work. I'm from the. I'm from the. I'm from a school of thought where you know when I used to go out in Dawson and Shoreditch, and I used to you know we used to go to these parties in Shoreditch and Dawson, and we used to think these parties were fucking god awful and they were playing the worst music. The first thing that we did was just thought, you know what? Let's just start our own party then, right? Let's let's just let's do things our way because we think we can do it better. All right, let's do it that way instead of just complaining about what people are doing and not having any resolutions. I don't, I don't, I don't really um, mess with that whatsoever. I don't think that's admirable. I don't think that's cool. I just think it's kind of a bit ridiculous, right? That you think you think you have the you think you have the necessary um, answers to answer all the questions in the world, but you haven't necessarily done anything to answer those questions. You're just looking at what someone else is doing and hoping that they answer the questions for you in the way that you want it to be done. Like, come on, man. So that being said. There's this really weird article on um, a website called blackenterprise.com about this guy called um, Cardi B's album artist launches a brand calling out Virgil's silence on diversity, right? Um, which is, again, I'll read a bit, bit about it and then we'll move on quickly because I'm sure he's going to be saying loads of infuriating things. But let's see what he has to say. Nikki Chulo is a graphic designer who has helped create album covers for household names, including Cardi B. However, he views his art... Like again, not, not to be mean, but um, it's interesting how they said for household names and they only mentioned Cardi B, right? They didn't mention anyone else. Names. Where's the rest of them? Mm, I think this might be a lie. But anyway, I'm not going to say nothing, but let's continue. Hold on. Let's zoom out here. As creative director of Louis Vuitton, Virgil has a high rank position as fashion. Again, loads of really triggering words. Where is this entitlement that he owes you anything? Like, mama mia some of these people man it's just insane the level of and i just i, I think again I, I just don't i'm not too sure if this is really even gen, genuine i'm sure this is just like um fake wokeism right fake woke it's not even like um a real thing that they're actually annoyed by it's just that they're or, or maybe they're annoyed about the symbolism of it more so about less about virgil it's more so about him as a symbol like he's the only one like in their eyes he's the only one that's got given a chance and look what he's doing right as opposed to like oh he's only hiring white people i'm sure that's the issue they have with it if that is the issue they have with it and imagine that was true imagine he didn't collaborate with all these you know amazing black creators imagine these fucking front um f front row in his show wasn't populated by all amazing people from all over the world imagine that wasn't true Again, my answer would be if you think he's not representing us as a collective, right? Again, I don't. I'm not a fan of that. I think you should treat yourself as an individual first. Do well as an individual first, and then that will further the collective, as opposed to just banding behind this collective flag that no one really agrees with. I, even if that was true, do it yourself. Show him how he should be done. Um, 
Last month, Virgil started a behind the scenes look, shared a behind the scenes look at a party for his brand off white. The footage sparked a firestorm of backlash on social media. This social media backlash as well. You ignore it for a week and it goes away. You shouldn't even answer it on social. It's just like, you know. Uh, off white team, too white, and noted that they appear to be no black artists or brand owned by a black man. Trulo created his own apparel line called Off Black in what he says is a call to task. It's a call to I was a task when he's in the process to empower black creators. Uh, <laughs> off black, come on, man. You couldn't think of anything more original, brother. You couldn't come harder than off black, really, for real, my G. Off black, yeah? Call to arms, right? You're gonna what? You're gonna you you're gonna fly to Milan outside a new guards group offices that's probably six stories up in front of a big massive brown doll, a security guard that ain't gonna let you in for shit. And what, pick it out there and say he needs to hire more black people. They're going to be looking at you like, what the fuck are you doing? Go home, man. Do you want a coffee? Do you know what I mean? Like, what is this? In an interview, Trilogue's like, oh. Nah, I'm not going to even. Anyway, uh, describe your background as a designer. I'm currently a director at Atlantic Records with a background in graphic design. I've been graphic designer for almost 10 years now and it's been a very wild ride. Okay, what's some of the most impactful projects? I don't care about that. Let's see why he's also off black. What inspired, me, what inspired me is a lack of diversity of Virgil's off-white team. Even if he's just the face of the brand, I believe he was... A, what? Is this a rumor in, uh, in the fashion field that he's just the face for off-white? He doesn't actually, it's not actually his brand. Is that a thing? Is that a well-known thing that I'm not aware of? I'm not sure that's true, right? Even just the face of a brand, I believe he has responsibility to speak up on behalf of diversity. No, he doesn't. No, he does not. I'm not discredited to a lot of white, but knowing how hard I work, especially as a designer of, of color, to get to where a designer of color. So there's DOC now. There's POC, person of color. Now you describe yourself as a DOC. Mama mia. Imagine, imagine knowing full well you only got hired to a design position because you're black. Imagine how that must feel, your self-confidence wise, right? Already, right? In a creative field, you're already... It's quite a, it's quite um up and down industry for the most part because you know you're having to um surrender yourself to people's approval, working with clients, working with brands, right? Um, everything gets second guessed, so you're always kind of you know having to um put your ego to one side. Then imagine finally getting a job with an amazing agency. You're signing a contract with some a client that's gonna you know essentially pay for your life for the next five years, and finding out they they only hired you because they wanted you to be part of their um diversity quota. How shit would you feel? For real. How shit would you feel? This diversity thing people are talking about is just garbage. It's nonsense. Actions speak louder than words, man. I don't want to hear somebody hiring 30... That's, that's the thing I have a problem with the whole women DJ thing, right? It's like there's loads of great women DJs out there. The industry was just behind the times in terms of who they're hiring. They're hiring the same old, old, grey, um, wrinkly faces in every fucking lineup, especially Fabric, that 25th anniversary lineup, ball ring, same people again and again and again and again and again, right? Not even, it wasn't even a male and female thing, just the same people, the same probably 10, 15 DJs that they know that they can sell tickets off the back of, not trying to cultivate a scene like other cities in the world do, right? Not doing that whatsoever, just promoting the same people. So then when the whole women conversation came around electronic music, it annoyed me because it's not about quotes, it's about making club promoters, making booking agents, making uh, club owners, all these people responsible and tell them, look, highlight some new voices, get some new people on the, on the thing so to freshen up the dance floor, bring better people in. That's what I remember back in the day, right? You saw anyone, it was it was a free-for-all behind the deck. So it wasn't about getting two or three girls. It was just like, who's the, who's the best? Who plays this kind of sound? What do I want to hear? Just get them involved. It's not about calls. Just get them involved. Just get more girls involved. You don't have to say, like, Phil Day or that. Is it Phil Day? We're going to get 50% women. 50, the line's going to be 50% only women. It's like, come on, man. That's not the way to just want to. I'm sure there's loads of dudes out there who don't get booked for any festivals and are bemoaning the fact that, you know, suddenly now there's a quota. Why can't there be a quota for everyone? <sighs> I'm, I'm hurt. What's that? Um... I'm not discrediting the talent of Off-White, but knowing how hard I worked, especially as a designer for of color, to get where I am, it hurt a bit. Blood, sweat, and tears. What, what hurt? He's like, his Christmas party hurt your feelings. What? What? Okay. Blood, sweat, and tears, relationship, lack of sleep, uh, having to be twice, if not three times, as good as to be seen. Standard, man. That's standard. But what? What? So the thing that we said 
the thing that I, the thing is that black people used to say to themselves to give themselves a bit of encouragement to get them over the line, right? Saying that, you know, you have to be twice as good as whoever is in that role to get the role. The thing that used to give us a bit of a pep if we didn't get the job in general or whatever it may be, we're now using it against each other as what? As a form of saying, I had, I had to work harder than you. Or you know how hard we work. You can't now be fucking it up. You can't fumble the ball, in my opinion. You can't. Is that what we're doing now? Wow. Having, been, having to be ready for anything at all times, we need more people of color in the room. We need more people of color inside the room. What type of dialogue are you looking for to create off black merchandise? I remember Virgil once tweeted, design is the freshest scam. And I thought that was a very, very cornable tweet. Design is purposeful always. <sighs> yeah, he does say some corny stuff, but, you know, again. This is, again, I think this stems, this is a, probably a, a good highlight. This stems from just people just not liking him. I think that tweet there really, that, I think that question there really kind of highlights. He just doesn't like the dude, doesn't rate him. I think a lot of people out there, I think a lot of creatives, a lot of black creative for the most part, they don't necessarily like the stuff that Virgil does. I guess maybe because he doesn't necessarily frequent the black spaces as some of these work people like to come communicate like, right? He's not necessarily in those spaces. I think some of them people kind of think he's kind of come from other and maybe he's associated with Kanye and Kanye not being kind of the friend of the black people at the moment with his Trump association. Maybe he's just for suffering from it because I just don't understand where this is coming from. You're going to create a whole brand of, a whole line of merchandise solely because of one video you saw of Virgil Abloh's off white party in Milan, like, Yeesh. why were you initially hesitant to release the apparel i was definitely hesitant at first i knew it was going to do this if i had to be in, in all in in the end i found out that virgil was blocking people who reached out to him who reached out to him in an instagram message with diversity hashtag which i think is dismissive and irresponsible no it isn't if, if i don't want to see your stupid tweets or your stupid messages i'm going to block you too like leave me alone i'm doing my work if it's not to your standards get your own brand not that. Don't piggyback off my brand and call it off black, you fucking son of a bitch. Like, oh, you have a platform and we want answers. No, why are you demanding answers? It's so annoying. Oh my God. Honestly, maybe because it's just me. It's just, I can't out fathom. I can't fathom going to another man and risk requiring answers in order for me to further my life. There are so many books out there, many that I have behind me, where I have all the answers in there. Interviews, um, documentaries with people that have been in the industry, white, black, small, um, fat, whatever they may, may be, some old designers, some new designers, talking about how they got their footing in the industry. Read, listen, watch those interviews, find out what they did, what they did right, what they did wrong, and apply it to your own life and do what you think he's not doing. Try it do it that way actions louder speak speak louder than words not piggybacking off his brand not trying to troll him on these instagram comments with hashtag diversity leave me alone huh isn't he doing a retrospective in his hometown in chicago next year to 2020 let's see what that looks like right let's let's see let's see how many of these work people will be there protesting let's see how long this um fake outrage lasts god damn it Right or wrong, why not be transparent? Lastly, my girl was like, baby, you know you want to do this. And I was like, Angel, you're 100%. Oh, this guy is the most corniest dude I've seen in my life, man. What will you do with the proceeds? 1% of the proceeds will go to the wines for leaders amongst leaders. I think the conversation we've started is equally, if not more important than the money we're raising. I hope to inspire and black... Mate, that proceeds going to this charity is awesome. Congratulations. Well done, right? Pat on the back for being um, socially aware and, you know, foregoing the profits um, into your own bank account and giving people that are more in need. No problem. Great. You're doing awesome there. But this narrative that somehow Virgil is the enemy of black people and that he's not furthering the black conversation, that he's not somehow furthering the other conversation that isn't even to do with black, just people that don't look like whatever we've seen in runway fashion shows. The fact that you think that you're saying that he's not doing it is ridiculous, ridiculous. You and I both know as fellow creatives, right? I, I went to a design school myself. I partake in dabbling a couple of design bits here and there, but I wouldn't call myself a brand owner or a clothing designer by no means, shape or form. But being from both from the creative field, my friend, we both know that 
you know, the calling or that kind of twinge that you get inside of you to create, to make something, it comes from a deep place, right? Most of the time, it comes from an intrinsic need just to make something. You feel like, you know, you feel weird not drawing one day. You feel odd not opening up Photoshop and just fucking around, right? It's a calling that you kind of feel as to make stuff, right? In the physical, in the digital, whatever it may be. But sometimes, in my case, you stumble across an amazing TV show that really just strikes a chord of you and suddenly you're like, I know what I want to do for the rest of my life. And that show um, was uh, Seymour Powell, right? There was a documentary on BBC here in the UK called Seymour Powell. And it was about a, a, a design agency, a product design agency, or an industrial design agency based here in the UK called Seymour and Powell. And they were making everything from Dyson Hoovers to remote controls uh, to windows to car seats. And that really inspired me. It essentially was what guided me to the path that I'm in now at the moment. That's what it was. One program changed my life forever. And you know who Simon Power are? Two very, very, very white guys, right? I'll show you an image of them, right? Here they are, Seymour and Power. Or Seymour Power. That's Seymour Power, right? These two guys are the ones that inspired me to get into 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 design right and then that led to fashion that led to music that led to graphic design these are the people that got me interested these two people these two white guys right it's just about seeing that it can be done and it gives you a hint it gives you an, a, a a realization that wow i can do this too so if you're so to say that virgil isn't furthering the furthering the conversation isn't allowing the conversation to be had isn't inspiring other black creatives or people that aren't white or aren't the necessarily dominant voice in fashion to get into fashion is disingenuous and a downright lie you know it you know it all it takes is one person even if you don't agree with what he's doing or how he's doing things he's too celebrity endorsed he's only there because of kanye his brand isn't that good uh whatever your whatever your misgivings are you, you cannot deny you cannot deny that just having him come out at the end of the runway you know with Ian Connor putting his hands together. Um, I don't know with Naomi Campbell, all this stuff that he's doing at the end of the runway show, being appointed Louis Vuitton uh, men's designer. You cannot deny that some kid somewhere in a random house town, not in any kind of hotspot metropolitan city, is not sitting there thinking, "Wow, I could do that too." So I could also become a fashion designer. Look, goes on Google, finds out his nearest fashion school, enrolls, or maybe doesn't enroll, learns how to sew at home by hand. You can't, you can't ignore that. That is going to inspire somebody. So sometimes I understand it can be frustrating. You're a creative in your own right. You're probably not getting recognition that you want to get. You think you're better than you are. You sorry, um you you think you're maybe better than the position you currently are at. I understand I've kind of had those feelings myself. But what you cannot do is then start, you know, those feelings of inadequacy of thinking as if like you maybe should be further on in your career. The what the one thing that you can't do or shouldn't do is then start pointing things at people who are further on in their career, who probably are doing things that you maybe hope you should do and point fingers and say they're not doing X, Y, and Z. You can't do that. That's not what you should do. You should use all that anger and resentment you have and apply it into doing your work. That's my. That's what I would do. Further your work. Further your work. Hone your craft. Um, promote the message that you want to promote. And maybe by you doing, you might end up inspiring Virgil to, to start doing what you're doing too. Or maybe not. Maybe it's all well and good. He does things his way. You do things your way. And we, that way we create a much better world and better opportunities for the people coming after us, right? That's what we essentially want, right? We don't want it to be a world where we're the only tokens in the, in the room. We don't want it to be that we're the only ones that kind of got through because we have sheer tenacity and, and you know, fortitude and will. We want other kids to have maybe an easier route through. That's what we all want, right? For our own kids, for kids coming up. That's what we want, right? <sighs> Some of these people, man, honestly. It's, in it's incredible. It's really incredible. I guess, again, maybe because I'm far removed from kind of that kind of way of thinking, but it's just, it's bizarre, man. The level of entitlement that you would have about somebody else's work and how they should go about doing their thing. Why don't you get up your off your own ass and do it yourself? If it's, if it's that easy. Anyway, move on from that one.